In this video, we are going to talk about RAG Lite. This is a modular Python library for implementing the RAG architecture, retrieval augmented generation architecture. Now we have seen different videos on architecture of RAG. Basically what we have is, first of all, we have knowledge source here and these knowledge sources are chunked into different pieces and then kept stored in a vector database after converting it into a vector. So whenever the user comes up and asks questions, we first fetch the relevant chunk of information from the databases from the vector database and get those information and then we pass this to the large language model so we pass the actual prompt or query and the enhanced context which is the information or bits of information that we've obtained from the knowledge sources we pass those to the llms and the llms reply those in text or any other format and then we show this to the user that's the whole architecture of rag now if you go to langchain and see uh, the different steps that is done while doing the rag we can see that first we load uh, our data here then we split the data into different chunks smaller chunks then we embed the data which means to convert it into vectors and then we store this vectors so that's the indexing part when we have a question from the user we have to retrieve the relevant chunks we retrieve the relevant chunks pass this to the llm along with the original prompt and then we get the answer so this is the whole process of rag but this new python library makes everything so simple it is just like pip install rag light and then you get all these guide and wizard to set up everything which you will see in just a second but before that you can see that rag light supports olama google lm studio vllm openai api mistral api and many other integrations so they have embedding models it's llm agnostic we have a rag pipeline red pipeline agentic rag pipelines mcp integrations and many others so let's go ahead and test this so for this we are going to use ubuntu i'm going to open ubuntu please install wsl if you're on a windows system we need to install windows system for linux wsl and install ubuntu as well now i'm on my home and i can see the list of folders that i have i'm going to create a new folder make their 26 rag light and then we cd into 26 folder and there we see inside we have nothing now we need to install the library which is rag light so we say pip install rag light and then we do the installation this will take some time but i already have installed this so let's get started let's say rag light chat this will start the wizard that will help you get started so it's asking me to enter the path of the directory with your documents now i need to store keep the document somewhere so inside the linux um, on ubuntu if you go to home and and then we go to prompt and then we go to this folder we want to store our documents that we want to vectorize here so let's take this guide this is a document complete guide uh, on reinforcement fine tuning by ready base so we take this and put it here and uh, then if you go here we can see that enter the part of the directory with the document so this is the directory that's correct i can say enter now by default they're ignoring a few folders for example vnv these files and folders are been ignored that is okay and i'll say i don't want to customize where should the vector database be stored it will be stored in dot for slash default db that's okay name of the database is default here it's okay next step is step three embedding models i want to choose uh, something from olama and the url or base url is 11434 which is correct and i want to select an embedding model so for the embedding models i can go ahead to my cmd and say olama list this will give me the models that i have and you can see that i have downloaded this nomic embed text model and this is the model that i'm going to use for embedding so i'm going to say nomic embed text and latest so this is the model that is will be that will be used for embeddings next is a large language model we'll use olama we'll use the base url of 11434 that's because we have installed olama on our system and once you install olama since i'm on my windows i can go to download i can click on windows or download for windows get the exe file install this and after you install and after you start running olama what you'll get is if you go to localhost 11434 you'll see that olama is running so which means on the on the system is ready here for the model that we're going to use is this model jama 3 4 billion i'm going to write this jama 3 4 billion and how many documents should be retrieved let's take the highest one let's take 15 here and it's indexing the documents adding 43 documents to chunks and this is the indexing part it used the index md embedding model it created a vector store vector store created and you can see that ingested and ingestion process completed so indexing is done then we take the llm jama 3 4 billion model we take this llm and then we uh, make the rag pipeline ready so all these things have been done by the rag light library and we didn't have to do any sort of coding for this purpose so now let's ask a question so i can say summarize the document so this will summarize so you can see that it gives me a summary the document outlines the system for training model uh, for triton kernels and using sft reward function training loop 
Turbo Laura, RFT's best, in essence, the document advocates for a data efficient approach, which is really good and it's correct. Now, in the next step, what you can do is we really want to have some control over the different parameters that you see here. So when we were building this, we want to have some control over the name of the database, we want to have some control over the different parameters in each step. So for that, we can go to VS Code and try out our code here. So let me stop this and let me open up a terminal, a VS Code terminal. And I'm going to delete everything that we have here. I'm going to create a new file called main.py here. So inside the main.py, we paste in this code. So here are a bunch of imports. Uh, we are going to use the raglite library, which we've already installed, uh, pip install raglite. And then we have all these classes, uh, vector store classes, agentic rag pipeline settings, GitHub source classes. Then this is the knowledge base. The knowledge base can be defined as two things, uh, just like the folder source that we have already seen one example. And then we can give the GitHub source here so i put in my one of the github examples that we have so this is an example of uh, telegram novita this is one of my repos and i got a friend telegram bot so this is uh, the example github repo that we have pasted and the persistent db is uh, dot for slash default db folder will be created here then the vector store config we see that embedding model is nomic embed text latest the api base is the default here in database is chroma we're using provider of olama collection name is the collection name which is this one default collection name and then we are going to ignore these folders uh, if there is any here while well, creation of the vector database and this is the agentic rack config so we are using olama we're using gemma 3 case 50 default agent prompt we have max of uh, steps of five then we put in the knowledge base the knowledge base is in this example it's a github source only so then we build the agentic rack and we start asking questions so question that i've asked is uh, please mention the text tag used i'm going to run this i can say python main.py and now let's see the results so it's creating an embedding model i can see uh, it created a vector store as well then the vector store is created a vector store instance return then it's cloning the github repo the git repo that i pasted then it started the injection so you can see that it has uh, started reading um, all the documents uh, we put in a max step of five so this agent goes ahead and read uh, through all the documents uh, through all the things that we have on that repo and ultimately it's able to come up with this answer so the text stack that is used for the project is python the programming language uh, telegram bot api then we have python telegram bot open ai api novita client and logging library so if you compare this with the actual text stack that we have used it's this one so we can see python telegram bot we have llama 3 with open ai compatible api novita client and uh, python dev environment for environment management so you can see that using just one library which is the rag light library we're able to do the complete end-to-end -end rag pipeline we're able to run this pipeline on the cli as well on the main.py file as well where we have more control over the different parameters of this of the different steps of the rag pipeline so go ahead and test this out i'm sure you'll like this uh, if you're looking for gpus you can go to this link and try out run pod you can get five to five hundred dollars of credit when you spend your first ten dollars on run pod but yeah i will see you in this next video where I go to the feature of Olama's cloud. So see you there. Thank you.